We're about a half a city block from home here. And uh, I run the girls off the road into the bushes so I can set the camera up. I've got the camera plugged in today to uh, a, a remote battery so that I can uh, uh, maybe, if i got enough memory room, record the whole trip with no breaks. If I do, that'll be several hours of video. So there's no telling. I may just lose interest in it. I'm back here. Hi, y'all. Uh, they're up there, and uh, I took, turned the camera around. Um, and uh, I got no idea what I'll do. I never do. I talk like I think I know what I'm going to do when I'm recording, but I got no clue. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to go to town today. I got a load of, of uh, glass and plastic recycle. I got some drinking water. I need to get a six-pack of beer. I don't know if I need anything else or not for sure. So, much as anything, I'm just in the mood to drive these girls to town and, and uh, this is their goodie bag. I always carry them goodies. Wouldn't want girls to have to work with that goodie. So that's what we got. We're moving. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Sort of. Kind of. Halfway. Alrighty. So now here we are. Any place they can eat, that's the same as having them tied up. They'll just stand there and eat. Come on girls. Back up here. Come back. There we go. Come on. Ha, baby. Hop, I know you're in the ditch. Walk out of it. There you go. That's my girl. Yeah, it's my baby. Walk up. That's how we do it. Yes, it is. That's how we do it. Damn girls. Supposed to be 80 some odd today. That's a little bit warm for being out in the in the uh spring wagon with no top. Someday I'm going to put a top on this thing. I haven't been out driving them since I got home from L.A. I got home from L.A. with just a monumental case of blues. I was so depressed I could hardly walk. And uh, so, you know, I've been home a few days, had a little time to get over it. There runs a squirrel across the road onto my side when we, when I moved here years and years ago. There weren't any squirrels on our side. There weren't any nut bearing trees on our side. We're gaining on it. We get up here to the, to the main road. We'll be up looking at that, at that uh, big trailer, black and silver trailer that scares Claire. We're going to try to get through it easy this time. Hard to say. Nah, girls, we're not going over there. Nah, we're not going over there. They're used to going over onto the farm. I've been doing a bunch of mowing over there. Should be doing some mowing at the other farm. I need you to go do some mowing on Sydney's farm. I could mow seven days a week, eight hours a day, and never quite catch up. I guess it's a good thing I enjoy it. It's the only thing I like doing with it gasoline mower. I wish I could do that with all this equine power, but these girls here that can do everything they can do everything a horse can do, except they're still not as big and strong. They can do the same actions but they do them slower and at a smaller scale. And uh, I haven't been able to find or build yet a uh, horse mower that they can that they can pull and I haven't given up on it and there's two problems there though when you mow with a sickle mower you, you leave uh, longer grass down and it, it uh, decomposes differently it mulches out differently it rots differently so so we just have to find out I don't know you know before before the horse mower was invented, which the horse mower was only invented about 1890, I mean, the, the horse-drawn uh, sickle mower is very definitely a piece of the Industrial Revolution. Um, and uh, before that, 
Hay was always mowed by, by uh, men with sides. I suppose sometimes women with sides, but but uh, mostly they, it was men. And uh, the scythe is a very efficient machine, and scythe mowing is a very efficient way of mowing. People who are skilled at it can, can cut a lot of grass in a day that way with just the strength of their own body. It's a matter of, of uh, getting the most results per unit of energy. It, it's a different principle than what we now think of as energy efficiency, but it's still pretty it's effective. And uh, so, uh, I, you know, and I'm I'm too old to, to start mowing with a size now. I mean, I'm, I'm on my way down. There are no two ways around it. I'm weaker this year than I was last year by a lot. And I don't like it very well. But I'm facing it. I don't get to vote. Somebody asked me the other day, I can't remember if it was on, on, on Shitter or on or on YouTube, I think it was on Shitter, um, that uh, uh, if, if uh, donkeys were faster than walking, and when they're walking, they're not. This is what, what we're doing here, walking donkeys. This is no faster than walking people. Uh, walk, that one of the reasons that people and donkeys work so well together is that is that we can walk side by side comfortably. Nobody has to has to alter their stride any. Everybody can just walk right along. The donkeys can and the people can. So the donkeys pull the weight and the people go along and supervise, you know, and it, and it works real well. But of course, I'm not walking with them. I'm, I'm riding behind them. And uh, so that's... Uh, uh, it, you can make a case that it would be nice if they were a little quicker. Um, but when we get out on the blacktop and they trot, they are quite a bit quicker than I can walk. In fact, they're, they're quicker than I at my age can run. Uh, although if I were 25, I could probably run alongside them while they trot. Um, hell, if I was 45, I probably could. But uh, that still would have been 31 years ago, so no, I can't today. But... Uh, it's still it's pleasant, you know. I can go into town here. I don't have to. I don't have to drive a car. I don't have to. You know, driving a car fills your body with, with stress hormones, and, and although we don't know it, we don't recognize it uh, because we do it every day. I and mean, most of us don't recognize it. But I do it rarely enough now that I notice it. When I drive a car, I notice the stress hormones. I notice the the sensation in my chest, my heart speeds up, I get into, you know, what accounts to, amounts to fight or flight mode, of course that's also, you know, road rage mode, it's all the same thing. Going along here, you know, like this. You can see what's in bloom, and you can see what's what's spent. You know, it's it's late in the summer. By by this time in the summer, almost the only thing in bloom is always yellow, yellow with brown centers. These up here are a uh, uh, a, a member of the sunflower family. They're not the ones that we grow for for food. I think that these are a perennial sunflower. Um, I'm not certain of that. I'd have to get out and do a little more studying. I know there are some perennial sunflowers that look like that and they grow in this region and I think those are them. But I don't know for sure. They're kind of pretty. We still got some, some uh, uh, elderberry in amongst the sunflowers. Now they're mostly, they have bloomed and born, but most of the fruit they've born has already been eaten. The birds love them. And, uh, you know, we could come down the road here and harvest them if we chose to, but, but uh, I 
so far I'm only growing. I'm not. I'm not harvesting them. You know, I I, may, I pretty much live on just the eggs that my chickens lay, and we've got you know some. I've got some beef that, that uh, excuse me, that uh, steer that we butchered that we raised. We're gonna go get another cow here, dad, this week or next week. And bring her home and raise her. She's people have got her. Can't keep her behind the fence, and she's a problem. And so if we can have her for nothing, and we'll bring her home, and fatten her up, and eat her. There's a little creek over there in the, in the shadows just on the other side of this high spot on the edge of the road. This high spot over here. That This road lies in, literally in, what was historically the bed of this twisting creek. And, and when the, the white people built this road, you know, I had to have, had to have it made, made so we could go fast in our cars. Uh, we just bulldozed the creek over into that spot and made it a straight ditch. And uh, so it erodes deeper and deeper every year, and, and then periodically, you know, when it rains real hard, it floods all this road. But when it rains real hard, we can't get out of here. There's always a period of a, of a few hours during a hard rainstorm when, when we can't get out of the of the farm at all. It's it's. Uh, Everything's flooded. All the all the roads out are flooded. This road floods back where the creek crosses our into our property. Y'all know that spot if you follow me. And the road that goes up to Sea Highway floods, uh, kind of behind the gas station there. And then 112th Street that goes uh, east out of here floods. It's the same creek as our creek, and it floods that road too. And then the going trying to go uh, north out of here that that puts across the low water bridge across the uh, South Fork the Crooked River and, and South Fork uh, the low water bridge is exactly that you can only cross it when the water's low during times of high water the, the surface of the bridge can be sometimes as much as 15 or 20 feet below the water level and if you drove into it you'd just be killed immediately um, nobody nobody drives into that one it doesn't even look like you could survive it it looks like death and, and people take one look at it. I've never heard anybody drive into that one getting killed. It's just too, it's too obviously not going to work. Where else are we going? Claire, what you doing? There we go. Walks up a lot better than she used to. She's gotten used to this. I had to readjust the lines just to make them fit having her walk right. You can see, well, you can't see. I didn't stop it slow enough. Here, 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 baby. Claire, put that. Claire, be sensible. You got it. You know how. Yes, you do. See the evener there, how even it is. That's how it's supposed to look. They're supposed to be side by side. Now, there's nothing there that's forcing them to. Um, that's the evener allows one of them to get way ahead of the other one if they choose to. Um, but uh, as they're maturing and as Claire settling down, she's still kind of silly, but she's settling down a lot. And, and so uh, everything's working better.
50 woods right here. I'm not sure who owns that. It may be Og Brown. My friends, the Ogs own quite a bit of the ground over there. But I'm not sure about them own all of it. I'm not sure who owns this woods. I like it though. It's pretty to drive along. It's getting late enough in the afternoon that, that uh, sun's, well, it's still pretty much right overhead. It's not that late. Later in the day, it moves off to, to uh, uh, what would be the right side of the frame here. We're going south, so the right side of the frame is west. And, and when the sun gets over there, this, this woodland shades the whole road. It can be really pleasant to drive down this road in the afternoon of a hot summer's day. It's been miserable and sweaty all day, and finally it's shady and cool. It can be a real pleasant drive. I got lights on this, uh, on this tree. This is a spring wagon I'm on today. This is a steel spring wagon. And, uh, yeah, I'll change, change the view for a minute. All right, you can see me there. Uh, you can't really see the spring wagon, but it's, it's got seats for, seats for, uh, four or five, five people if one of them's little or two seats in front and a, and a full wood seat in back that'll hold five if one of them's not too big and uh, it's made out of steel it's fairly heavy uh, it's uh, ah, you can't even see that dog on it um so the the uh, oh baby uh, I always pull it with both of them Missy could probably handle it by herself, but there's no need for it, too. I really, I like driving both of them because it keeps, they get both, you know, for me to drive Missy by herself, when Clara's the one who needs more practice, it's kind of silly, you know. Um, Missy's just so good, sometimes it's just, you know, I drive her on the, on the doctor's buggy, and she's just so light on her feet, and she's so sweet, and she's so easy to get along with. Easy control. You know, Clara gets these bits right right now when she's fighting the line. Clara, what are you doing? She's just being silly. She'll get over it someday. Missy has lots more practice than Clara does. I got driven for a year before I ever started Claire because Claire's legs were uh used yet she wasn't. Uh oh, there's Bandit. Bandit! Dog gun it. Bandit! We gotta go home. Come on! Oh girl. Oh. Bandit! Ah! That's ah, bad dog. Come on! Come on, girls, haul around. There we go. That's my girl. Come on, Bandit! Let's go! Out here someplace. Well, Donnie. He'll go all the way into town with me if I don't take him home. Fair. Fair, just trot, baby. Trot. Trot. Fair. Trot. Trot. Fair. Fair. Trot. Oh, you don't have to yell it. Trot, there, that's a girl. That's a good girl. Good Clara. Good Missy. That's my baby. Good girl. Bandit! He knows I'll chain him up if he comes home. Darn him, I can't do it. I can't not do it, though. Dummy. I'm trying to find the dog. I saw that to walk up there with a leaf to get him. Here you 
got a rope here. Hang on, let me go back up and get it. Oh, easy go, easy go, easy go. G a little here. G a little over, G a little, G. G a little. There we go now, ha, ha sharp. Ha sharp, ha ha sharp. Ha ha, ha ha. There we go. Ha more, ha more. Ah, 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 ah. Missy, ha, ha baby. Come on, walk up. Up you go, pull out, pull out. There we go. There's my girl. Yay, G now. Up we go. We gotta go get this confounded dog. Yeah, go on, yeah. All right, up, hit, trip, let's go. Yeah. Bandit! I know this is all ground back here. This is all hay, hay ground. So I don't mind being back here because I know the hogs won't be offended that I've drove on their ground. They're friends of mine, good friends. I knew when I couldn't find him to chain him up before I left, so I was going to have this problem. Bandit! Yo, Bandit! There he is. There he is. There he is. There's my boy. Girls, you go right over there to that tree. 
Hello, Goofus, oh, Goofus. Yes, 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 you're a criminal dog, you are. George, my goofball, my giant wire-haired goofball. Oh, pick him up like this. Oh, God, you weigh a million pounds. I can't pick you up. Come on over here. Come on over here. Over here. Oh, gross. Here we go, Ben. Up here. Big dog goes up here. Front legs. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, we have to go up. We have to go up. Oh, 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 okay. Well, then I'll just tie you on. We'll go home. Girl, slow. I got my hands full here. I got a big dog and my two goofing on. Goofing on. My goofing on girls. All right, Goofus, we're going home. So, large goofy dog is right there. He's tied to the wagon. Here we go, Claire. Here, come back. Back up. Ha, little, ha, little, ha. Ha, ha, ha. ha. All right, sharp around. Sharp, sharp, sharp hop. Hop, up, hop. Up we go. Walk on. There we go. Come on, Goofball, we're going home. Goofball over here. Girls up there. Places where this ditch isn't real, real sharp and steep because that's to pull the wagon wheel through it and back, back up out of it. That's my girl. It's going. I could almost take him with me, but. If I could get him to get up inside the wagon and ride in it, I'd take him with me as a passenger, but... Where here goofball. There he is. Ah, that didn't show you to him. That just that showed you the sky. I forget. Ah oh, man, I'll tell you what. I'm not good enough at this to do all of it that I do. So what? I guess. I can't even see what's on the picture now because I got some behind me.
I'm not fiddled around this much time walking up and down this road. I may not have time to go into town. I could change Missy over onto the doctor's buggy, but we're faster that way. But I got a load of manure dump before I started videoing. That was important. Did that with the girls. They they pull them in their spreader. And I hadn't I hadn't done that recently. I've been pretty pretty slow, pretty much just dragging ass off on them. Between the brutal heat. My advancing age. See here, I can change this to Now you can see my giant gooseball, I think. He's back there someplace. I don't know if you can see him or not, but it seems like you might be able to. He's just walking alongside us. I may just, when I get them home, I think I'll probably just uh, get Buttercup out, and tie her up, take her for a ride on the country road. She's pretty upset that she didn't get to go anyway, so if I get her and get her, you know, take her with us, well, she'll be happier. In all the years I've messed with equines, and that takes me clear back to 1987. Um, in, in all cases, when I split a team and took one out to work and left one in the barnyard, the one who got hurt was the one in the barnyard. The one who was angry was the one in the barnyard. The one who tore things up was the one in the barnyard. It's not the ones who work who think they're getting picked on. They're getting attention and they like attention. It's the ones who are stuck back in the Stuck back in the in the barnyard, being left alone. It's funny because so many people to see me working them, you know, especially on you know on the internet, urban people, they all got this 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 animal abuse. I mean, I, I've heard more yelling about animal abuse than then makes any sense because I do this because I take these girls out and have them pull this cart up down the road and the only angry donkey today is Buttercup she's back in the barn where these girls came from she was mad from the get-go when I started pulling them through the through the uh, I put I put Clara's halter on her and I lead her into the barn and then Missy knows that we're going to work together as a team so I, she comes in uh, without a halter she just follows Clara in and 
uh, then I'm, I, while I'm shutting the door, I'm standing there pushing backwards on Buttercup's face because she wants to come in and she's already pawing the ground and fussing and carrying on because she didn't get to. And Missy's in there milling around. All she'd have to do to get away is walk through the door and go away, but she's not. She's standing in there milling around, uh, <laughs> strangely enough, eating chicken shit, which I don't know exactly what makes that taste good to a donkey, but I do know that, that there's a place for the chicken fruit and Missy Grace is on that spot. So anyway, but, but um, you know, then I harness everybody up and I start to leave and, and you know, Buttercup's in Ballerin and she's not yelling now because we're out of sight, but, but while we were on site inside around the farm, she was hollering, carrying on. So it's always, you know, she needs more work anyway. And uh, the work she's doing right now is to just get tied up uh, to the wagon. Right tied up right where, right where Band is tied now. Uh, and uh, we walk along, you know, we just walk on the country roads and she walks along with us. And I tell her to whoa and go and whoa and go and do all that stuff. Just like uh, I tell them, you know. And then I use the lines and the bits to, to, uh, to reinforce the verbal command. Uh, Buttercup doesn't have that reinforcement going on, but she's got uh, a bit in her mouth. She'll have a bit in her mouth. I'll, you know, I'll put her halter on her and I'll put her bit in her mouth. Um, and I won't hook any lines to it or anything. It'll just be there so she gets used to carrying it. So she, you know, she gets used to having that thing in her mouth and it's not scary. Excuse me. And uh, then I'll, uh, we'll go the other way. We'll go up north. Uh, I don't want to take, you know, I'm not going to take this wagon with the third donkey on the side of it out on the 40 to 55 mile an hour road and, and have to deal with all that. So we'll just, we'll just go at a walking pace and, and maybe take her up 112th Street and cross the railroad tracks because she won't like crossing the railroad tracks the first time, but she'll see the big girl, uh, you know, the old girl cross it. So that'll be all right. The reason Missy finally crossed it was because she saw Sydney's pony, pony hawk cross it. You know, I've had her up there like eight times. And, and she... There's my baby girl there. Yeah, yes. My big boy. up with my eyes. That's another thing that I've gotten away from the old age. I got glass bottles in the back and they're rolling around, flanking and banking. That's all I've got. No, it's good, huh? Come on, Missy. Come on. This way. Go on. Walk up. I know. I'm giving her attention, not you, huh? Yes, everybody wants attention. Peppy's yelling now. Everybody else got left. He's still at home. Well, uh, whatever it is you're doing, I think it's a good time to stop it.
All right, we're gonna go down 112th Street here. Cause that's the way to, to the uh, railroad track. Plus, Buttercup's never been down this road before. Go on, girls, walk up. Sorry, how'd you manage to get that tangled in there? I tell you what, your ability to tangle shit up is just absolutely legendary. There's nobody like you in the world. Got her trace tangled in in uh, Missy's side of the evening. I've been heating and melting that metal over and over and over. Try to get this to she can't do it. She still can. I still haven't got it done enough. All right. No wrong. This way. Go on, walk up. Yeah, there's not. Well, maybe we should go back home. Maybe not long. Yeah, I'm tired of it. Hello, sweetheart. Good to be with you. I'm staying up here as close to the gate as I can because my phone, this, this phone uh, is a Google picture. Yeah! We don't stop without permission. This phone's a Google Pixel and, and uh, it's really heat sensitive. Boy, it gets out in the sun, it dies in a hurry. I have to say that uh, compared to just your generic cheap Chinese smartphone, I think this little pixel is a piece of shit. I quit using generic Chinese cheap Chinese smartphones because they seem to tools of war against my home country, I can't tell for sure, but I don't know. You are supposed to be a too beautiful. That's me and my baby again. Me and my baby girl. Yes, me and my baby girl. My baby girl. That's how you train them. Train them by telling them they're good girls. If you're a good girl, you still are. Got up, Missy Clara. Yes. Got up, hip hip. Got up. Come on, Buttercup. Got up, got up.
Got it. Come on, buddy. Got it, baby. Got on, got on. I'm not shot very much until the car's coming. Go on, Claire, shot up, check, whoop, whoop, whoop. Shot up, shot up, shot up, pull her, pull her, pull her, pull her. There we go, that's my girls. Yeah, that's my girls. All right, walk, walk, walk. Easy walk. There we go. Ooh. There, what would you think of that? Was that pretty weird? Was that pretty weird, baby? We never did that before, did we? We never did that before. Jeez, Jeffy. New stuff. All right, walk up. Got up. Hip. Got. Come on, get, come on, get, 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 get. Got it. Got it. Got on. <clears throat> Got on, Claire. Got on. Up, up, up. Got up. Got up. Got up. Easy walk. She gets used to me being up here by her, uh, taller than her. I know when I want to ride her, that's going to be okay, too, because she's already used to me being taller than her. The girls are definitely not going straight very easy. They know that she's got my attention. Claire, what you doing? Claire, knock it off. Clara. I see it. I know it's all just bullshit. Yes, we know that, don't we? Huh? Big long spell of sun coming up here, and that's going to be <coughs> phone may overheat out there if it does. Well, the recording will quit. We'll have what we had. You guys, honey, come on. Yes, that's my girl. You're looking good. Yes, I know. Clara, what are you doing? Besides from being an idiot. Clara, knock it off. 
making everything harder. back here is pulled as far forward on her lead rope as far forward on her lead rope as she can get she's not lagging back she's walking up she got no slack at all if I gave her a little more slack she'd be up there close to beside me Same next time we go out. Better walk upside miss it like she's part of the team. If she thinks most she's being driven. I think it's alright. She got her bit in her mouth. I don't know if you can see that the way the phone is with her up so close. But she got her bit in her mouth like I said I was gonna do. I uh, I do that just so she get used to carrying it. You know, they have to, there's no use for a bit to hurt them or anything. It's just for you to, to, to communicate with them. And so if they get used to it right up, you know, being there, then they can start to accept the message that comes with it. Who's Quinta? Quinta. Yeah. Oops. She got a bite. She got a nibble. I don't know if you can see it up there, but but the road we're on goes forward and then goes it drops off into a dip, and then it comes back up. And the first time it comes back up there, here, 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 nah, nah, nah. Uh, the first time it comes back up, there's a railroad track there. There's a long valley, but they built the railroad track on a on a raised berm across the valley I, I don't know how high I've been. I mean it's it's way high it's like 50 feet higher than the valley floor so that uh, as we go through here we go down into the valley and then we climb up onto the railroad crossing berm and then we go back down into the valley and then we climb up the far side you can probably see over there over there, there's a water tower. That's Water Tower Hill, and that's the high point. And that ridge that the ridge the Water Tower is on is a high ridge, and then it's not very far into Richmond from there. But I'm not going to go all the way into Richmond today at all. We're just going to go up here and cross the railroad tracks, just so Buttercup gets used to them. Yeah, right. It's for you, buddy. There, you're fine, honey. You just walk on there. Put the into You guys, I know. Everybody else is getting all the attention. Nobody's noticing Clara. Dog's on it. Yes, dog's on it anyway. Yeah.
Hadn't toasted it yet. Put my hat over it for a while, give it a little shade. Cool it off. Yeah, that's my girl. She is. She's good. You she walked right on. Clara, honey, you walked up there too. I see you. You're a good girl. I know, honey. I know. Everything's so hard. Yes, it is. Poor baby. Blues today, honey. Got the donkey blues. The head down, dragon, fighting a bit blues. Yes, I know life is so hard. Oh, Clara, no! Clara, no! No! Clara, no! I'll whack your ass! I'm telling you, I'll whack your ass! That's better. Get your line in her teeth. We're coming up on these railroad tracks now.
this trek runs not too far from my house on the way to this spot here. Well, we're not real far from my house now, as you know, when you just watch this drive here, but um, this is real heavy, heavily used freight line and I hear live I mean, railroads going through day and night. It never, the noise never ends. Okay, we're almost up to these tracks now. I'm gonna put this on buttercups. You see what she does as we go across them. far forward as she could get on her tied lead rope. Now she's got all the slack out of it. She's walking as, as far forward as she's able. She's about to see these tracks. Let's see if she backs up. Yep. Come on, buttercup. Come on, baby. Walk up. There we go. Go on, Missy. Up, up, up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Come on, buttercup. Up we come, honey. Come on, baby. Up we come. Yep, she's back as far as she can get. She wasn't going to do that, but she did, because the girl's good. Good girl. Good, all the girls. Yes, everybody's good. Walk on, baby. We're just going to go down this hill and turn around in the valley. Come back up and go across the hill. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Missy. Good girl, Clara. You pulled hard. Yes, you did. It was hard work, wasn't it? Yes, we had to drag her. Clara, honey, don't. There. Get down here. Past this stone pole that's on our right here, the power pole. There, past that pole, there's not much ditch. The ground's pretty low and flat, so I'll have enough room to do a U turn here. It's undercut, but it's got a, a Y-shaped reach instead of a single shaft reach, and so it won't make a full 90. There we go. All right, we're going to go forward again. Now I'm going to leave the, line, the, the vision on the girls here. You'll be able to tell by watching their legs if Buttercup freezes up again because they really had to pull hard to get her across those tracks. What they're doing now, they're, they're walking real easy. There's just no strain to them at all there. That's just an easy walk. 
I mean, they're pulling away to the wagon, but barely. She's actually helping to pull it with her with her nose. She's so far forward on her line, on her lead rope. But she froze up and went as far back on the lead rope as she could while we crossed those tracks. Tell there's no train coming because of the relative silence of working these animals on this wagon. So if there was a train coming out here, the noise. I'm still paying close attention. Come on, baby, walk up. Come on, buddy, up, walk up. Up, up, girls, up, girls. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, 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 pull Missy, pull. Pull, 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 Missy, pull. That's good girl, good Missy, good Clara, good Buttercup. Yes, we did it. We crossed them both ways. All right. We's here. Good girl. All right. Good girl, Missy. Good girl, Clara. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Next time I drive Buttercup with them, I'll tie her up to Missy's hand. Missy's hand. And then she'll be walking beside Missy. So I'll be behind her. This is where I drive from. So I have to get used to that. This way, though, I can pet her on the forehead. You stand up, buddy. I took my hat off to shade the phone and Clara decided she needed to run. She thought I was going to have a whip at her. Poor baby. Shot up, girls. Hip. Come on, buttercup. Shot up. Shot up. Shot, shot, shot. Everybody shot. There we go. That's my girl. Again, so you can see Buttercup trot. Trot's so pretty. It just looks like it doesn't weigh anything. She's just so light on her feet. Yes, you are, sweetheart. She's light on your feet. Yes, you are. You girls are too. You're just so pretty. 
You're the prettiest girl I ever see. Yes, you are. You're a good girl. Alrighty, girl. Shut up. Hey. I'm holding my hat over the phone because it said it was getting too hot. No, I think so far. You get up here in this shade, I'm gonna stop for a minute. Just teach everybody to stop. Alright girls, walk up. Walk up. Walk up.
Oh, oh, oh. oh, girls. Whoa. Clara, Missy. Thank you. That's better. That's very good. Good girls. Yes, we are. All right, walk up. All right. Hey, cut. Cut. No. All righty, walk up. If these girls seem the least good is walk, is stand, I mean. So it's really good for them to learn this too. Got the mildest possible bit in her mouth. I could put a slightly more higher leverage bit in her mouth and probably control her a little easier, but I'd rather she settle in and accept this. Coming so far behind now. Huh? How come? Been a lot of driving around today, but not going anywhere. Haven't been but about a mile from home either direction. I'm a functioning dog catcher, donkey trainer, storyteller. I guess that's far enough. In. Right over there in that corner where the mowed grass turns into into. Uh, what looks like a deep woods. That's the corner of our place. That's the part of our place that I refer to as the thorn fort in there. It's not all thorns, it's just lots of thorns, and so that's what I call it. 
needs to be mowed in there at least one more time this year. This big shrub on the corner, that's not mine. That, that belongs to the, this property here where the mowed lawn is. And then the corner, that shrub, that's where the fence corner starts. It's all close back in there. Pretty rough ground. It's been hog farmed on and had almost all the top so it chased away. It's a pretty good hill. The girls are grunting. Buttercup's still at the leading end of her lead rope, so to whatever extent she's applying pressure with her nose, she's helping them. She's not hindering them. Car coming up behind us. I can hear him. I'll wave them around. I started out training. I had Missy out when she wasn't much more, much more fully under control than Buttercup is now. And all I had was the lines and the, and the, and the cart we were on. And, and cross your fingers, here we go. And this, by the way, this is our place right here. That's, that's the space that been the orchard. No, here I no, no, no. And I had goats in there for a while, but they've moved on. <sighs> Putting it here, my almond tree would never recover. I hope. Probably killed my, my pecan. I hope not. So she was uh, taking a terrible beating on 
goats are one of the, when somebody moves to the country, the first thing they want to do is get goats. And goats are cute as the dickens, but they are about the most destructive animal ever domesticated. So I'm not that fond of them. I plant trees. Well, no, they're not the most destructive animal. As long as hogs exist, nothing else will ever be the most destructive animal. Goats will take off all the trees, but hogs will take off all the soil. Goats eventually will be taking a lot longer. Tie them up here because if I don't, they'll go ahead and go inside, which the wagon won't fit through the door, so it becomes a mess. All right, now what we have to do is we have to put this wagon in that building. This is G. G. We're going to come back, back up, back. On that hall. Okay, everybody, hall. Claire, hall. Haw over. Haw more. One more. Haw. Claire, haw. All right, now come back. Back right there. Back right there. Come back. Come back. Come back. Claire, knock it off. Come back. All right, G now. Missy G. Okay, now come back, back, back right here. G sharp, Missy G, G. Here we go, back a little, okay now, haw. Everybody haw. Claire haw, 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 Claire haw. Ah, not up, haw, haw right there, Claire haw. Claire haw, 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 haw. There we go, that's good, now come back. Okay, a little more, back a little more. Okay, G. It's the first time we've done this. Come back. That's good. Now haw, haw. Heck, haw. That's good. Now come back. Haw a little more. Haw, 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 haw. Haw a little more. Haw. Clara, haw, baby. That's good. Now back. Come back. Come back. Ah, ah, ah. Too far. Come back. Right here. Back. 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 Haw a little. Haw a little. Come back, straighten up, come back, ha, come back, that's good, ha, 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 that's good, come back, oh, that's good right there, ho, ho, alrighty, that's how you do it.